Hello guys and welcome back to my live Napoli career mode. You guys seem to be really enjoying this, which is absolutely awesome. And we are going to continue. So where we left off, um, I just saved it, by the way, if you're wondering why I was in that menu. Also, I've adjusted all their boots, which is something I always tend to do. Um, but where we left off, we had the Super Coppa final next up against Juventus. It's an absolutely huge match. And um, also, from your feedback, a lot of you want me to use that financial takeover thing. And uh, also, people seem to want me to switch teams every season or every two seasons. So this career mode is something that will last a long time, except at the end of one or two seasons, I then take an offer. Okay, so I'm thinking that could be a good idea. Um, but in terms of the financial takeover, I'm not going to do it with Napoli. They don't need it. They've got a good budget. It's decent. And I want it to be somewhat difficult to, uh, to build this team this year, especially in January. I want it to be a little bit tough to uh, afford the big players. But if I if I grab a, a slightly smaller team next season and I fancy buying some pretty amazing players, then I'll do a financial takeover there. Um, to update you guys on transfers, we're currently waiting on Wagner Love, but I have added some players that you guys seem to really want me to buy. I've seen the comments. Uh, Kulker seemed to pop up a lot, and he would be a great signing. He's got a potential something, I believe. There you go, showing great potential. Uh, I also added, where is he, Victor Moses. He's a left midfielder in uh, in career mode. He's actually a right midfielder in real life for some reason. Um, I don't know if that's correct, actually. He can play either side pretty much. Uh, I've, I've added Didier Drogba again because lots of people are like, no, sign him. The problem is he's only just signed, so I reckon I'll get him in January. And we still got the uh, the previous guys, we've got Christian Benitez and Wagner Love. Um, so we'll look around and still continue trying to buy those players. The other thing I've done as well, guys, since we watched, sorry, since you watched the last episode, is I've changed the formation to a normal 3-5-2. It kind of suits this squad a little bit better. And I've also gone through the reserves and I've realised I'm lacking defenders and midfielders. I mean, look at my reserves. This is it. All you can see here, these are my reserves. It is so, so, so bad. If I get another injury, I'm fucked. Seriously. So I really need to get some players after this match against Juventus, which we are going to kick off now. I can't wait to get in this match. Holy shit, we're playing Juventus. And remember, everything is absolutely live. The only time I would skip a bit in uh, in a match is, I don't know, when it gets a bit boring or something, when there hasn't been a goal for like <laughs> 10 minutes straight in real life time. Maybe I'll cut a little bit there. But really, this career mode, I want it to be completely fluent and live. We're going to go with the lovely... Light blue kit. Actually, I should probably use the darker, shouldn't I? Where are we going to be playing? We're playing at the Stadio Olimpico. Pretty awesome. World class. Four minutes clear. Let's take a look at their team. They've got Buffon in goal. Chiellini, Barzagli and Bonucci. Bonucci in the starting lineup. Interesting. Um, he always is at the moment, though, isn't he? Vidal, Lichsteiner playing as right midfielder. Marquisio, Pirlo, Asamoa, Vucinic and Giovenko. Very, very, very strong squad. I was going to do a Juventus career mode, but I decided that... Everyone probably wants me to do a Super League with them at some point, so who knows, maybe I'll wait. Um, Juventus is my favourite team in this game. It's absolutely stunning. But I decided to go for Napoli instead. But anyway, let's get this game going now. All three, look at that. Here we go, guys. It's the first bit of silverware that I can win with Napoli. It's my first proper game that I've played as well. Because obviously I've simmed the, uh, the friendlies. Asamoah apparently is going to score. <laughs> Um, Gustavo, don't forget we brought him. We brought him into my uh, midfield there. He's going to be sitting alongside Barami while we have Inla playing as Cam because obviously Hamjik got injured for two months in a friendly, which is absolutely sod's law. And here we go. First time playing as Napoli. How exciting. Let's see how we can do against Juventus. They've without doubt got you know the advantage here. They've got a much stronger squad than me. That's a great tackle there. Look at that. Um, but this squad I reckon I've got is capable of winning the uh, the Serie A. Ah, I really do mean that. I think we can win the league. Oh shit, that was a bad touch. Um, I've got a good formation with good strong players everywhere. Come on in, la. get that back some. It's weird seeing them with different types of boots compared to what I see in Ultimate Team. Because I've got quite a few Napoli players on Ultimate Team. Come on, that's yours. Oh, bollocks. There we go. No, okay, he's going to bounce straight back again. Ah, come on, man. No! Oh, they've almost scored there. Marquisio. Great player. Not the best of starts so far, but still getting used to a new team. It happens. Oh, look at that lovely knock on. I'm going to have that. No, I'm not. The referee is. He's being freaking bought by Juventus. They're paying him. It's quite obvious. Um, and we'll take the goal kick there. Here's Armero. I wasn't sure if I wanted him in the team. Let's give him a, let's give him a go. See what I think of him. 
Unfortunately, he's only got two star skills and two star weak foot, which really is not good enough for, you know, a left winger. But we'll give him a go. Let's see if we can get a cross in here. What a cross. Oh, Cavani almost on the end of that one. You know, if anyone is going to be winning me, you know, competitions and the league, it's Cavani. He's going to be vital in this uh, in this season. There's no way I was going to sell him. Uh, as you saw, that I did get offers, but I decided to turn them down because I think, he, like I said, he's going to be a massive part of this career mode. I'm not a big fan of his work rates, but um, you can change them. What you do is you go into your formation and then you click edit formation and you'll be able to do base work rates and things like that. You can just change them up to whatever you want them to be. I need to do that myself. Fucking hell, I'm giving away the, the ball so easily. What am I doing? Let's get this back. Asamoa. Yes, that's a foul. Thank you, referee. We will take that. Here's Insigne. He's brilliant. Okay, he's not so brilliant. <laughs> no, that's my fault. Poor pass there. No computer. You're not allowed to just pass it in between like that. Oh, it's so frustrating when they do that. Impossible to tackle them. Gustavo is providing good cover for my uh, defenders, though. That's what you want in a 3-5-2. Ah, what a foul, Asamoa. But when you've got a CDN that has a high defensive work rate, he's always just going to be sitting there and just helping your team defend when they need it most. Come on, Cavani. Whoa, he's just got absolutely destroyed by Vidal there. This Juventus side is very, very strong. It really is. Bad touch maybe? No, he's not going to make a bad touch. I'm just playing kiss and chase at the moment, aren't I? Look at their passing, 93%. They are dominating me. No, no. Oh, he's just gone wide. Giovenko should be disappointed with that one. Look at this. Loads of space just to slot that near post. If only he knew it's FIFA. <laughs> and he would have gone near post. Oh, I feel a counter-attack coming on here. Insigne going through. Come on. Finesse shot, left foot. Oh, go on. No. Inla. I am so, so disappointed in that. What the fuck, Inla? You are going to have to take a pay cut for that. <laughs> that was one of the worst misses I think I've ever seen. That was ridiculous. At least get it on target. You know, I wouldn't... wouldn't. I know hitting the post isn't on target, but at least hit the post, you know. it's At least it's kind of on the goal. But that went wide. Now I'm on the back foot here. Oh, bollocks. Bad. Oh, my God. He's at the post and he's missed. This final is freaking tense. Look at the possession. They're destroying me on possession. Right, get up, get up, get up. Here we go. Come on. That's a good pass to Inla there. Anyone going to make a run? Get that over to Barami. Pepperami. To Maggio. Oh, he's just got... No, oh, it's half-time. That pass was intended for Cavani, but it went to Maggio. We do go in at half-time, nil-nil, guys. Really not the result we want, eh, at the moment, but... Technically, I should be happy because they should be ahead. Look at that. Four shots. I've had two and one on target. They've had a bit better possession than me. I've clawed it back a little bit since we saw the stats. But I should be happy that I'm not losing this game. Armero. Oh, he's offside. Was he actually offside? Oh, he's literally just. It was a pass for uh, Insigne that. But that's all right. It shows that Armero is definitely... In the right part of the pitch, in terms of he should be on the pitch in general over Zuniga. I mean, I, I like Zuniga, but he's got bloody high defensive work rate. I don't want that in a midfielder, you know. He goes Insigne. He's got great dribbling skills. Armero with the poor touch. What the fuck was that? That was awful. I'm hoping they can make a mistake at some point when they're doing all that silly passing. And uh, get me through on goal for free. And I'm really struggling in this kind of position here. Gustavo seems to be in the good position to take the ball, but they're so good at passing Juventus that um, it's very difficult to, <laughs> to kind of predict where they're going to go with it. Let's get Cavani in, in the game here. Out on the wing. It's an awful pass, that. What was I thinking? So my initial thoughts on this team so far... Oh, God, that was an awful turn. Um... I, I, I think I need a new striker. I don't want Insigne playing as my striker. Now, I know Hamzik's out, but Insigne, I would like to bring him into that cam role and have Cavani and someone else next to him. I think that's what I need, actually. There's just something missing in the final third here. Cavani's work rates aren't helping me at all, by the way. I really do feel it. I need to adjust it. He's just always dropping back into midfield. Oh, he almost got that. Um, and it's harming me because when I go forward, I've only got one option, and that's Insigne, and he's not strong enough. Um, he gets knocked off the ball. His passing is pretty 
average, to be honest. Um, look at Gustavo getting back there. Oh, am I? Char I need to charge my controller. Bollocks! I forgot to do that. Um, oh, here we go. We can do a break here. Go, Insigne. Go! Oh my God! This Juventus team are rock solid. No joke. Here goes Gustavo again, though. Come on. Let's get up there with Maggio. Oh my God, Matt! Focus, man. Let's make some substitutions. I think that's what we need to do as well. Eight minutes left to go. Who do we take off? We can take off Maggio and bring on Zuniga. El Cadori will take off Armero and put Insignia out there, out, out, bleh, out there. And Inla can come off for Pandev. So we've got a few new players going forward there. That should give the uh, the team some refreshed feel to it. And let's just kick the ball out. I just want them on now. Instantly, it feels different. Oh, oh, that's a foul, surely. Play on, play on, play on, play on. Come on. No. Can I have my free kick now? Oh, I just fucked up. I seriously fucked up. I thought I was through and I got cocky and it didn't work out for me, as you can see. We're now... Oh, my God. It's three versus one. Slide. No, come on. Please keep that out. Oh. Is that a corner? Or is it a goal kick? Goal kick. Thank God for that. Well, we haven't conceded against a very strong side. The strongest side I'm going to come up against in the league. Um, so, I think we can... We can say we've done well here. We're not at home either. When we get into the home ground, that's going to be cool. They've got a throw, though, in a very dangerous position, which is not nice. Not cool. That is the end of the game. I believe we'll have extra time, though, right? Let's have a look. Unless there's a replay or a second leg. I'm not sure how this one works. Let's take a look. Yep, there's extra time. So, come on, Pandev. I've brought you on. Show me what you got, because you're basically... Um, the player I'm going to be replacing with a striker. Hopefully I will get Wagner Love. I think he'll do great here. Perfectly suited for my kind of football. He's quick. Uh, good at passing on the ground. Great movement. And uh, his agility is very high, which is something I'm looking for. Let's see what Pandev's like. It's a decent pass, that. His movement. He's gone into a good position. El Cadore. Through again. Oh, get sweaty, Matt. Oh, he just blocked it. Now I'm on the back foot. Get back. Oh, shit. That is some good play. This Juventus team, seriously. I'm I'm actually very, very, very impressed with how good they play. Oh. See, I've, sp I've spent so many series in the BPL. It's nice to be in a different league for once. It's going to be something different, you know? That's what I wanted to do with my channel. Get rid of that stale feeling. I will return to Arsenal at some point, I think. Counter-attack. Go. Go. This is a counter-attack. Oh, back post, back post. Go on. No. Keep it in. Oh, yes. Yes, mate. Cavani. Can we go past him? Sure can. Cross it in. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Buffon, what are you doing? Buffon just had a howler. And Marchisio is high. <laughs> Oh my god, what a shot from Quagrielera. Rela. Quagrielera. <laughs> god. When I do my Juventus career mode at some point, I'm going to have to pronounce his name a lot more. I will have to learn it properly. Some of the names I just find so difficult to, to pronounce. But either way, coming up to half time. Oh, look at that. Bad passing. Oh, I'm talking of bad passing. Shit. Shit. No, 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 no. It's that guy with the name I can't say. Oh. Well, I've got to give it to Juventus. They've played so well. They deserve it, in a way. That's a nice finish as well. All right, it's okay. We've still got... Oh, okay, we haven't got any more. <laughs> We've still got the second half of extra time to turn this around. I reckon we can do it. I really do. You can see, they do, they've had eight shots. They deserve to be ahead at the moment. So, here we go. Over the top. Oh, it's a good pass. Look at that from Cavani. What a pass. Pandev, what can you do with this, baby? It's good. It's good. Insigne, come on. Let's get us back in this game. Come on. Gustavo. Out to the wing. He's kept himself on side. Oh. Over top. Oh, what is that? What was that? Come on. Gustavo should be getting that back in quicker as well, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Kabul, I bought you because you got pace. Oh, never mind. Gambarini. 
He's there. This is literally it, guys. This is my last chance. Ultra attack. And I fucked up the pass. No. Running out of time. Holy crap, he's hit the bar. Right, this is it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Go, 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 go. No, ref. Oh, Juventus have won. First chance for silverware, and it goes to Juventus, unfortunately. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. And I'll update you in the next one on all of the signings, and we'll push on into the season.